Skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and yes, I'm going to be doing an ears video. Harley Baby did one, so I figured, hey, I'll do one too. So I don't, I don't know if I have as many ears as her or not. Um, I definitely have a good collection. So uh, let's just get on with it. The first one I'm going to show you guys are my witch ears. I believe Harley Baby and I got these um, for the trick or treat uh, event. I believe last year. Yeah, because the year before was a different set of ears. But yeah, this is what we got that year. They are super cute, one of my personal favorites. Next are the Briar Rose Gold Ears. Um, they initially came out with the Rose Gold Ears before this one, which uh, we got Harley Baby, I believe, for her birthday. And when they came out with the Briar Rose Gold Ears, I was like, well, I have to have them because Briar Rose is my princess. Now, granted, the only difference between the two is that these are, like, smoother. The other ones have, like, rougher sequences on them. But these are still super cute. Harley Baby got them for me for my birthday uh, this year, I believe, actually. Next set of ears are uh, are these ears. Um, I believe these are also Halloween ears. Don't remember when I got them. Most likely Harley Baby got them for me because she's the one who's been growing my ear collection in the first place. All right, next set of ears I actually got when I was a kid. They don't make these particular ones anymore. And, ooh, they're actually meant for kids. They don't fit my head anymore. But it's supposed to be like a veil thing. I know they sell, sell like the white veil or whatever, but I don't think... Either I haven't worn these enough or something because they're too small. But I'm still going to keep them because ain't no way I'm getting rid of my ears. Next set of ears, I also have Harley Baby to thank. Oh no, hubby, Harley Baby, one of you, is my Potion Purple ears. I fell in love with these Potion Purples when they first released it ever since Disney started doing like their colors thing and when these potion purples came out I thought they were super cute and I wanted to get my hands on them and eventually one of the people I love got them for me <laughs> these people give me so many ears it's so hard to keep track of next is something you guys can't get here in California but you could in Florida these are my Epcot ears I bought these for myself while we were in Epcot and I absolutely love them I figured I had to get some kind of ears in uh, Walt Disney World. I think next year I'm gonna get some ears from um, uh, either Animal Kingdom or maybe Hollywood Studios. Or maybe I can get ears from all three. You never know. Next is going to be a pair that uh, I think Harley Baby and I both have. It's the Haunted Mansion ears. They have the five singing busts on there and then I think, yeah, on one ear is the Hitchhiking Ghosts. On the other ear is the Grave, uh, grave Digger. On the back, one says Haunted Mansion, and the other one has a, um, I think the Hatbox Ghost on it? Nah, it's just a skull. Next are a set of ears I know you guys have seen on this channel. My Pride ears. Harley Baby and I got these when we did our first Pride Day, um, last year in June, and these are super adorable. I hope to wear them again uh, the next time we can celebrate Pride Day at Disneyland. Next isn't necessarily ears, but it's still Disney-related. It's my Mad Hatter hat. I usually don't wear these because I don't necessarily like the strings that go on the bottom, but I thought this one was super adorable, so I just had to get it. But when Harley Baby and I cosplay as Mad Hatter, and um, I believe she wants to do Alice, and we're going to have the boys be Tweedledee Tweedledum, this is gonna, what I'm going to be wearing. Next is going to be another pair that I have when I had an obsession with this character. I don't anymore. They're my BB-8 ears. Again, I don't necessarily like the hat ones. Um, they do fit a little more comfortably than the uh, headband ears, but again, I just don't like the little strap down here. I was considering giving these to Harley Baby, but then I remembered that I think she has her own BB-8 ears. Plus, these are super cute. Again, I would never get rid of my ears in the first place. Next are a set of ears that I've had for a while now. I believe I got them when I was younger, so I don't know if this is actually going to fit. This is my Neverland ears. Um, they don't fit anymore, but as you can see, there's Captain Hook's ship right up here. And then on the back, it has my name. Oh yeah, fun fact, this is my name. <laughs> now I saved the best for last. These ears I got when I got my job. We got these ears when we got hired and they're super cute. I love them. I've never had like classic Mickey ears like this before and I'm so happy that I have them now. But again, I don't think I'll wear them too much just because again, chin strap kind of bothers me. But anyways, those are all the ears I have, and my hair is probably now officially messed up. That's why I took it out of the ponytails. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys like my ears. I hope to add more to my ear collection soon once I head back to Disney. But other than that, those are the ears I have for now. And I know thanks to Harley Baby and Hubby, I guarantee you those aren't going to be the last ears that I ever get. So thank you guys so much for watching. What kind of ears do you have? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know.
and maybe it'll give me ideas to get ears of my own. Mm -hmm. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.